want to say hello to everyone uh welcome back to the ds show this is uh ig live from me casa as you can see i hope everybody's having a great day and i think we're gonna get straight to it um right now i'm going to bring on a bronx native uh latino um he has also been to the show and we had a great talk in fact whose show was he on it was bronx native and someone else I think I think I spit that show and made it live and then something on location. But either way, it was a great show. So tune into that. Look on the YouTube channel. And uh, we're going to bring him on. I want to talk to him about some business. I want to talk to him about his quarantine. I just want to chat with him. That's all it's going to be. All right. So I'm going to bring him on now. Hope everybody's good. Um, let me see if I can find him because I know he's here. I'm not, I guess we're going to go on the Bronx native um, one. Let's see if that works. Yes, he has open mics. Uh, he has workshops for writers and all that good stuff. So um, it's, it's a very good thing to network with him. Let's just all become like a big, you know, family. And uh, let's do business together. All right, so here we go. We're bringing him up. All right, so I would like to introduce you to the CEO, uh, co-founder, a Bronx native, which is a merchandise store, clothing store. Um, Amaudis will be with us, and here we are. Here we. Are. Waiting for these numbers to go up. So we're waiting for him. Hope everybody's day is going well. Remember these chats. You are able to comment uh recommend uh learn ask questions all down below i'm still waiting for him i don't know if he's on he said he requested what's me. up hey there you go how you doing i'm good my love i love your background i see that you're in the store you already know you already know how's everything how is everything welcome to ig live the ds show once again the Yes and Show, get in line. You're in a vibe. Let's get it. What's up? What's up? What's up? Everyone's tuning in. What's How you doing, my love? What's going on? You already know, taking it day by day, surviving out here, trying to make it happen, trying to adapt, and, and just staying positive, you know, staying productive throughout all of this. How are we staying uh, positive and productive on your end? We stay positive, first of all, by starting every day with a quick yeah. 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 Facts, facts. <laughs> Uh, but no, you, you know, uh, staying active, not, not just, uh, staying in bed and, and letting dwelling into the negativity and everything that the news is putting out there, but, but just thinking of ways to, to make the best out of these situations, you know? Yeah, definitely. How are you looking at the quarantine? Are you looking at it as, I know we have a lot of, um, not great stuff, but are we looking at it as a type of time of faith? Or are you looking at it as a conspiracy theory? Or are you just going with the flow and saying, hey, we have a virus killing all people? Eh, whatever. <laughs> God forbid, um, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Um, I mean, I, you know, I listen to the conspiracy theories. I, I listen to everything. But in the end of the day, if you believe something or not, we are still going through this pandemic. We're still going through yeah. this situation. So no matter what you believe, where it came from, it doesn't matter the outcome, you know? True. So I think what we need to be thinking about is not how did this start or the government's doing this or this and that, but but like I said, staying positive, you know, and, and, and making the best out of this situation and, and adapting, you know, for small businesses, for individuals, for the first responders out there. Um, and just and just holding your family close and, and just, you know, just stay, staying happy out here. You know? Yeah, it's crazy. I like recently just like hugged my mom the other day awesome. and, we, and we hugged and it felt good. And then like she kind of like pushed me like, OK, OK, that's it. You know, because it's just the paranoia. Meanwhile, my mom is amazing and very loving. She would never do that. But it's just we're all on our toes, you know. So I, I do want to let everybody know, do share the love. Do do hug and kiss. You know, just do it at a limit. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, we have to. We have to, um, you know, 
time and, and every day is, is a blessing, you know? Yeah. And I've been seeing a lot of my friends, some of their family members, a couple of acquaintances that have been affected by COVID, but that have been affected by the Rona. And um, it's pretty sad out here, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so definitely take this time to appreciate what we have right now, you know? So, yeah. So I've been asking people around of, of who I'm interviewing. Have you learned anything about yourself that you like or don't like? <laughs> Um, I think this is a very reflective time. You know what I mean? I've been, you know, even about just myself as an individual, you know, self-care, thinking about a lot of different things. Um, and I, I just, you said if I learn anything that I do not like about myself. Yeah. I, no. Yeah, I'm now we have all the time in the world to be with ourselves. Me, everything about me is incredible. Okay. So I have zero, <laughs> everything about me. So, so I, I won't, I won't say that I, I learned anything that I do not like about myself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, right? You know, sometimes you think about things, you're like, oh, I don't really care about that about myself. Maybe I need to change that. Because, you know, you, you, you're, you're with it, you're your stuff now. Have you um, gotten any new interests? Um, Anybody you've been watching that kind of you feel connected to right now? Um, I mean, I've been watching a lot of people on live. You know, definitely you. You're doing your thing. Much love to that. You know, Thank you, baby. Uh, a couple of the people that are going ham that I've been looking at is Tory Lanez. I don't know if you know. He has Corinthian Radio <laughs> killing it right here. Um, I like to see a lot of the DJ um, battles and, and, and mm -hmm. artist battles that they're doing. You know what I mean? That's pretty interesting because so, sometimes you're like, oh, you don't know that that producer or that DJ, yeah. you know, could, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty dope. Um, who else? Uh, I don't know if you know uh, New York Nico. Uh, he is a, a, a person on Instagram. He's incredible. The content that he's been posting up, New York Nico. So check him out. And you already know Bronx Native is out here posting up stuff and trying to make it happen for the people as well. You know, definitely, definitely. I want to. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in right now. What up, DWI from um, DSN Radio? He's up in here. All BX Natives, all family. Um, all right, we're gonna get a little bit more into that, but my main thing with you was I want to bring you on because I want to reconnect with you because I haven't seen you. That's number one. Um, you're always fun, your aura is just very fun, which is great, and it's about business. I want to congratulate you on all your success last year and this year. Thank you. Thank you. I know we were kind of all excited for 2020 to like, and now oh, we're kind we of on a standstill. If we look back to the interview, we're like, 2020, it's going to be great. Uh, but it, it, it's kind of it's kind of sad, I'm going to be honest, because I was, I was really excited about 2020 yeah. uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, but it, it seemed like it's we're in a pause right now. But it's yeah. all good in the hood, you know? We're still working out here. And, that, and that's the only thing that kind of makes me feel better is that we're all on a hold. So it's like when you tell yourself, work, 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 you, you have to force yourself to say, but there's really not much I yeah. can do with at hand. You know what I mean? Right. It, it does feel good that we're all in this together. You know what I mean? Right. That, that we're all going through this struggle together. So you're not alone. I'm not alone, you know? So so that that's, uh, you know, kind of dope, kind of dope. So being that the quarantine is going on, you guys had to, to, you guys were working for a little while longer than the usual until it was like mandatory to shut down. Yes, yes. So we, we I mean, you already know, we have a business to run. We got to keep the lights on. We got to make it happen. So we... Um, kept the shop, the physical shop open until it was mandatory to close, which is Sunday night. Um, but but it was, you know, we took all of the, the, the precautions. We had hand sanitizer. Everyone that came in washed their hands, had the hand sand. We were giving I out saw hand you. sanitizer for free. You know, so it was, in, in the beginning stages, it, I'm going to be honest, we we're having a little bit fun, a little bit of fun with it, with the whole Rona and stuff like yeah. that. Uh, yeah. but, but, you know, it definitely is a serious, uh, t you know, situation. And um, after that week, we've been shut down since, I think, uh, almost a month or so, like three weeks that we've been shut down here the yeah. shop. Uh, and we only have our online shop right now open, Uh But yeah, hopefully by the 29th, the lockdown will be taken off and the Bronx Native Shop will be back in business and will be open again. Yes. Dope, 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 dope spot. Hopefully it'll be open right in time for the summer because the summer's the best time. You guys are right. doing barbecues and all that outside with the music and the breaking yeah. and rapping and all that. I'm telling everyone that as soon as this is done, we are throwing a block party outside Woo! of the creative shop celebrating I'm so the there. of the Rona. I'm so there. Can you please have what you had last time? You had like this jug of some red juice that's <laughs> 
It tastes like nutcracker, but then it tastes like an old school Alize. What was it? Because it was delicious. Um, I'm going to be honest. There was a lot of things that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's you why know, I came home real twisted that night. Let's see what happens. You know, <laughs> but definitely we will have some drinks. We'll have some fun things going on. Entertainment, you know, culture, all that good stuff. Community, family. Um, and just we want it to be a celebration of, of happiness and togetherness Absolutely. and just us overcoming this challenge that we, we're currently going through right now, you know? So my um, main focus, too, was to see how small independent businesses are being affected by this virus and how you've been affected and what you've learned. And, you know, just talk to me about the business a little bit. Definitely. I just want to say, George, was goody? Hey, guys. We see uh, you. There's a lot of you on here, even though the number is very small, but there's a lot of people here. <laughs> much love, much love. Um, so, yeah, definitely, you know, uh, small businesses have been hit hard, especially like restaurants and, and uh, people that have brick and mortar businesses, right? Uh, mm -hmm. For us, it was about just adapting with the time. We're already living in, in a digital era. We're already living Moscow in the building. What's good? Uh, <laughs> we already live in, in, in an era, in a technological era, right? But what this uh, virus did for us, forcing us to shut down our physical shop, it, it made us go full force on our e-commerce, on our online store, and on our social mm -hmm. media platform. Okay. We are already heavily involved in social media and everything mm -hmm. else. Uh, but like I said, because of everything that happened, we kind of just turned up the notch and just you know went all in. So we're going ham on social media, going live every day. You already know, uh, 3 p.m. every weekday, Bronx Day of uh, we are having our, our e-commerce store be the best store it can be. So anyone that orders, uh, even though we've been experiencing some delays because of the COVID, uh, we are trying to get everything to everyone as soon as possible. And mm -hmm. staying busy, you know, doing photo shoots, you know, but of course staying of course. The, the social distancing and stuff like that and being careful, but still working and still making it happen because we cannot stop, you know? Of course not. You guys have a, a mode going on for the last two years. Why not? And this, this past year was amazing to you. Yes, yeah, every year. Every year is amazing. Yeah, yeah, because every year is a different journey. That's mm -hmm. why. It's right. a different path. Yeah. So what does 2020 bring to you, like, after we're done with this? After are we also we are done with this. Are we running to the store the minute that green light is on, or are you kind of chilling out for a little while? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, you know, I've ever since the COVID came through, I've actually been working harder, you know, because we've had to adapt to the new things. And it, it's been a lot of adapting. We've been adapting every single day because every yeah. day is like a new thing, applications, the, the, you know, everything that's going on. Um, so I think after this is done, I think it's gonna, we're gonna have to adapt again. You know, now it's like, how do we do a mixture of the old way we were doing things and the new way we were doing things? Yeah. You know, I've been saying this uh, about all the business owners and about any individual, um, life will not be the same after COVID-19, right? We are going mm -hmm. to uh, rearrange the way we do business. We are going to change even the way we interact with people, you know? Absolutely. I'm sure that after COVID-19 is done, people are still gonna wear the mask. People are still gonna be a little weary about, you know, uh, getting close to people. So it's gonna be a little interesting, but you're in other vibes, man. We are here, we are ready, we will rise, and we're still gonna strive out here. So it's gonna be dope, you know? <laughs> yes! <Well, laughs> any little um, things you've been doing to keep yourself occupied besides work, like more of your personal time? Anything for self-worth? Self, um, Self-care? Uh, yeah, for yeah. men, let's talk. I, Definitely, that is one of the positive things about this situation, right? Um, it's like somebody pressed the pause button on life, right? And we have more time to ourselves. We have yeah. more time to do the hobbies that we want to do, side yeah. hustle, and for self-care. You know, I'm going to be honest. I've been sleeping a little more. I've been Good. relaxing a little more. I've been reflecting on my life, on my present, and my future, and what do I That's want great. for that. Uh, so it's, it's been great. You know, a lot, a lot of reflection, a lot of planning, uh, a lot of goal setting, mm -hmm. And that's what we all sh uh, should be doing instead, you know, uh, not just chilling all the time, but uh, let's write our goals down. Let's put step by step. What are we going to do starting now? You know, so then when this is all gone, uh, we can continue to lie, but we could be better. We could be stronger. We could be wealthier. You know what I mean? So right. just, just, just trying to stay, stay out here and stay up, you know? Yeah. It's, um, did you, did you ever think we would see this in our time? 
No, 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 definitely not. And I feel like we all kind of just, you know, I've seen movies, of course. I've seen documentaries about it. Uh, but you never really think something like that is going to happen, especially something like that in New York, the city that never sleeps. And yeah. literally all of everything shut down. You know, it's, it's pretty... Uh, shocking you know but yeah. it is what it is and, and and i appreciate being part of this journey even though you know even though it's a challenge yeah. and even though everything that is happening um it, it was meant to happen in 2020 you know it was you know they said 2020 clear vision right yeah <laughs> they wasn't playing yeah. about that <laughs> they, wasn't, they wasn't playing about that man you know it's, it's like so weird when you think about it like was this planned or not like it's just weird just the timing you know it's weird. I've, I've seen a lot of the conspiracy theories, like I said, the five, See? the thing in, in China and all that stuff. Um, but like I said, man, you know, it's, it's not about dwelling in those in those origin stories, but just just uh, taking care of yourself, getting through this and just coming out better and stronger. Do you have any advice on um, starting your own business, clothing line, brand for the ones that are sitting home and like really thinking about doing this? Yes, uh, I think we should all exercise our expression to to create, you know what I mean? Uh, not only a business, but anything, you know, I feel mm -hmm. like we're all in our own way creatives. We all have ideas. We all want to put things out there. Um, and it, when it comes to apparel, when it comes to fashion, when it comes to all of that, um, we have all of the resources in our, you know, right in front of us, you know? Right. So, so it just takes us as individuals to, just activate ourselves and take that first step. Um, you know, what I did, I, I was always a creative, um, but I didn't know how to start an apparel business. I called up the, the one person I knew who, you know, we all know somebody who makes merch, who has an mm -hmm. apparel brand. I called them up, I said, hey Brody, how did you do this? You know, and he gave me a step-by-step -step, um, yep. list of how to do it. And I followed every single step, you know? Yep. Um, and, and you gotta take it from there, you know, consistency, putting out good work um, mm -hmm. and, and just staying, staying true to yourself and, and creating something beautiful that, that you poured your, yourself into it and your passion and, and what makes you, you, you know? So yeah. Absolutely. Are we having any Corona virus designs for the Bronx when this is all done? <laughs> uh, we're thinking about <laughs> like it. Like the BX right? stayed strong or something? Yeah, <laughs> facts, facts, facts. <laughs> Uh, we definitely are uh, going to be putting out some masks soon and some and some nice. coronavirus gear. So okay. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be dope. We're about to post it up, so it's going to be dope. Yeah. Nice. Good stuff. Anything you want to say to the viewers? Um, I just want to say, man, you know, like I've been saying every day, let's stay active. Let's stay positive. I hope everyone is healthy. Everyone is safe. Everyone's mind is active and safe and productive keep smiling i know we're going through a negative situation a challenging situation but we're from the bronx new york all right we are cut from a different cloth that's we true through this we've gone through this and we will go through it again all right we will rise together we got to stay together we got to unify you know uh not think of us as individuals but think of us as a whole we as are whole. here for you so you're another vibe man that's all i gotta say much love to you the essence for having me you're another vibe stay in line what's up <laughs> uh, but i yeah. love it yeah like once we get back in studio we gotta get you back on and talk about the new year because the time we get working again 2020 you know, is canceled we gotta we gotta talk about it is one now <laughs> damn that's crazy but we could come out stronger too you know what i mean mm -hmm. and we will and we will that that's what you know, any challenges that we go through in life, we will come out stronger. So I, I know that after this, we, we're all as human beings, because this is a world struggle. This is something that has affected the world. As human beings, we will come out stronger, smarter, and better. Yeah, right? absolutely. Give out your address to everyone, just in case who, vibe, who doesn't know it. Yes. <laughs> Uh, well, our physical shop when it's open is 127 Lincoln Avenue in the South South Bronx, Boogie Down Bronx, Mock Haven area. Um, our social media is at the Bronx Native. Please follow us. Please check us out. Me, a personal, as a person, my IG is at Amaudis Brujon. That is A M A U R Y S. Last name Brujon, G R U L L O N. <laughs> and uh, follow us, check us out, and much love. Of course. One thing before you go. Hardest thing and the easiest thing for you during this quarantine, quarantine time? Um, I think the hardest thing is um, 
just things that we kind of took for granted it before mm -hmm. and, and things that it was so easy. Uh, and now for those things not to be there, you know, yeah. I think that's, that's been one of some of the difficult things because it has slowed down business and just a regular life. So mm -hmm. it's just like, you know, it's just kind of like a, like it's kind of, it's kind of whack, you know, so it's like, Got so it. that's one of the hardest things and easiest thing, um, easiest thing is to, to, to still stay motivated and inspired yes. and empowered, you know, even though we're going through all of this, you know, it could be sad at times, but still staying active, staying motivated and, and continue to make it happen. You know, that's been your know, another vibes, man. That, that's what I do. So I'm a, I love it. I love it. You're just created by nature. That's what it is. Always ready to work. Thank you so much. I'm I love, love you. We will love talk. Let's be safe. Thank you. Take care of that store, and we'll see you when we all get back in the streets. Yes, indeed. You're in the vibe. See you in the streets, all right? Take care. I love you. Get in line, baby. Time. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Bye, baby. <laughs> I just want to thank everyone who has tuned in. Oh, my God. We have uh, Angie LMV. We have Rattlesnake Cables, V UV. R, Ray, 10, Carmen, Philip, uh, Posh Pirate, Art by Bonks, The Silent Celeb, what's up? How you doing? We haven't met personally, but uh, we, we, we will meet eventually. Uh, Ro Marie, JTZ, Allison for New York City, Niz, Patron Connections, Bobby Alalante, thank you for joining us. There's so many people on here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Follow me on Misty Essence One. Uh, check out the show on YouTube, The Essence Romero, and also each and every Wednesday, Monday, Saturday. I'm in the I'm in Queens, I'm in the Bronx, I'm in Manhattan, I'm all over. So tune in, uh, follow me, we can connect. If anybody has talent here or that, that uh, needs a, plat a plateau or a platform, let me know, I'm here. And if not, you better get in line. I'll see you soon. Thank you, Amadis, for calling in or checking in, I should say. And I'll see you a little later on. Get in line, your girl's the essence. <laughs>